woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. It is with a great deal of joy that I welcome all of Matthew and Stephanie's friends and family who have come to celebrate the love that these two have found in each other. But I don't want you to think of yourselves solely as spectators. In fact, I'd like you to think of yourselves as also joining in the vows today. I'd like to ask you, as the important people in their lives, do you, family and friends of Matthew and Stephanie, intend to be there for them, help them, support them when the going gets tough, reminding them of their commitments and the beautiful people they really are, even when things are ugly? We do. We yeah. do. Yeah. Oh. Again. <laughs> You have invited a lot of important guests today. And from the New Testament, the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Be subject to one another <coughs> out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as you are to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, just as Christ is the head of the church, the body in which he is the Savior. Just as the church is subject to Christ, so also wives ought to, in everything, be subject to their husbands. But husbands, <laughs> love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, in order to make her holy by cleansing her with the washing of water and the word. So as to be present, the church himself in splendor, without a spot or wrinkle or anything of the kind. <laughs> Mary! <laughs> Life will not always be easy. Well, not 
the movies will not always be magical. The beautiful, bubbly seas will not always be friendly. But God will never leave you or forsake you. God will always love and forgive you. Having God in your life individually and as a couple will bring all of God's blessings and resources into your relationship and help make you not just two strong individuals, but a three-fold marriage board that's not easy. So you have a wonderful marriage <laughs> and enjoy two worlds <laughs> for all of your days, understanding it takes sacrifice, respect, and a sharing of who you are as a child of God to be able to ride off into the sunset together. Each and every one of us here wish you God's greatest blessings on the new life you have together. And don't forget, God wishes this for you too. Matthew, do you intend to share with Stephanie your joys and sorrows and all the years will bring? And with your promises, bind yourself to her as her husband. I do. Stephanie, do you intend to share with Matthew your joys and sorrows and all that the years will bring? And with your promises, bind yourself to him as his wife. I do. to the formal vows, Matthew and Stephanie have also asked to be able to express why they make these vows to each other today. In their own words. I know that no matter what storms come our way, that we build our house with God's cornerstone that we can weather anything that comes through and so that we can always fight our dragons together so we will all enjoy it. I love you so much, and I cannot think of a better way to spend the rest of my life. No matter what happens, we will be able to fight our dragons together. We're going to You go first. <laughs> by the promises before God in the presence of this congregation have bound themselves to one another as husband and wife. As Holy Scripture proclaims, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Together in the central class, we see how the love lines create a vibrant exchange, an even more elaborate landscape. This visual landscape of Matthew and Stephanie's lives will be a visual reminder of how they hope to intertwine their love, their experiences, <coughs> memories, and families to create an even more vibrant and shiny new family. And a mess. <laughs> love is messy. <laughs>
<laughs> Father, Son, and Holy Spirit keep you in his light and truth and love now and forever. <coughs> by the power invested in me by the state of Colorado as a minister of the Lutheran Congregations and Mission for Christ, I have the privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Thank you.